So if the track is paused and I'm in phase on mode, that's with the switch down, all I have to do is tap five times to start the track. The first four times sets the tempo, the fifth time will actually initiate the track. I'll do that without playing just to demonstrate. And then as you see with a quick double tap, I can pause the track. So if we're just improvising and the track's not on and I'm in some kind of feel, I can get the track in right where I want it. One, two, three, four, in. Now, if I want to use that function to do a drastic tempo change, I have to use the double tap as a pickup to pause the track and then immediately set the new tempo with my left hand. So I'm going to demonstrate that as well. So I'll, I'll start the track right where we were. So another function in phase on mode is if I want to do a gradual tempo change, instead of the double tap pickup to stop the track entirely and then tapping a new tempo, I can start to work in the new tempo while the track is going and it will eventually catch up with me. So I've got to hold my ground at the new tempo, but it can have a really cool sounding effect. I'll show you, we're going to start really slow this time and then I'm gonna gradually speed the track up. Yeah. So that time, as I brought the track closer to my tempo, the track eventually found its way to the same BPM, but was off by one sixteenth note. So you'll notice that I had to flip the beat. I just jumped a sixteenth note so that where my pattern in four was happening had the same one as the pattern of the track. So occasionally in phase on mode, it will get to the right BPM, but the one isn't always consistent because when you're tapping constantly, unlike when you stop all the way, it doesn't have a clear one. When the track is stopped, the fifth hit is one. The, the Bitwig knows that. So I'll show you what I'm talking about once with the metronome. Metronome on. We'll do the same thing, start nice and slow.
So you could hear that as the BPM got to the correct tempo that I was at, it was off by one sixteenth note. And as soon as I heard myself in the track in the same place, but with different ones, I adjusted to match the track. It, it's more clear with the metronome on. Without the metronome in there, you can do that really musically and make it work or stay with ones in different places, which can be a really interesting effect as well. So if I flip the switch up to phase off mode, now the track isn't listening for me to cue the beginning of it. It's only listening to the tempo that I'm inputting. So for example, if there's an arpeggiator going, now I can manipulate the arpeggiator without accidentally cueing the track, which we'll show you in this next example. decided to make a pause right there. In That's the funny. Um, now I'm going to demonstrate using all the different functions that we've covered. Um, a drastic tempo change, stopping the track. I'll be cueing the track right off the bat. And then eventually we'll break down to just an arpeggiator that I'll be manipulating gradually.